Welcome back. We are here on Eater looking at the commodities market and the precious metals market. And this is going to be my daily forecast for Thursday, November 5th, 2020. If you'd like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button in order to see our newest videos. Uh, we do have a trading signal service at the Patreon. A lot of traders have already joined and everybody is welcome to join. You will get full access to the commodities um, analysis and my our per, my personal trades on commodities uh, if you join. So if you'll start by looking at the US dollar index. So, well, the election hasn't ended and it has affected the market quite significantly. Uh, we rallied significantly um, in the earlier parts of this trading session and then broke towards the 50 moving average. So at this point, we can say that 94.21 is significant resistant. Uh, furthermore, we have the highs here of uh, 94.75, which also will be significant resistant. If we break this, then we'll head towards the 50 moving average. However, this is a really nasty uh, bearish candlestick here. Furthermore, the technical indicators are turning around for uh, the US dollar index. So it will most likely depreciate. We need to break the 50 moving average and that will open the door to the 90, uh, 92 level. And this will, of course, affect gold positively. It will affect uh, uh, oil positively and so on and so on. So there's a negative correlation between commodities and precious metals. So that's why it's a good idea to keep an eye on what basically happens to the US dollar index if you're trading other commodities. So let's look at what's happening with oil. So US dollar index uh, depreciates and we have appreciated a increase in the value of, of oil. So we are almost trading at the level where it is possible to enter a short. We are in the downtrend. We have been just going lower and lower, and it is just inevitable that we'll go all the way down to $30. Uh, dollars. The thing is, is basically when to enter. So I do believe that we'll break the 50 moving average. We'll see something similar to this. Uh, we haven't touched the 50 moving average yet, but I'm guessing that we are going down up towards the 50 moving average and then turn around. The technical indicators, we have to uh, keep that in mind. They have not turned around. So at this point, we should pay attention to the CCI. Uh, CCI. It is going to look something similar to that or something similar to this. And that will give, so give us basically a heads up that we are going to go um, lower. So we need a, well, a weak um, candlestick um, above or right at the 50 moving average, and then a candlestick right under the 50 moving average in order to determine whether or not we are going to break lower. So I have no interest in basically buying this. This is basically selling every single rally as we have been for several weeks now. We have lows at the moment at 33, and we will also find um, quite a lot of support here around 36. So when this breaks, that opens the door to 33, and then it opens the door to $30. The world economy is not doing so, uh, very well at the moment, and therefore demand is very low. And um, of course, elections will have an effect on the economy, on stocks and, 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 um, and the commodities and so on. But when that is over, will go back to reality and reality is that there just isn't that demand for oil. So if you look at natural gas, natural gas keeps uh, declining and at this point we are almost reaching our first um, uh, support area which is around 2.9. If that breaks then we are going towards the 50 moving average and this is probably the best entry for uh, a buy that you can get if you can get it at the 50 moving average. So a break below the 50 moving average opens the door to a 2.4 and then to the 200 moving average. No interest in basically shorting this. This is just buying the dips and getting it as cheap as possible. Technical indicators for natural gas are looking very bearish at this point. 
So um, we probably will trade sideways and down for probably tomorrow and on if we have a big decline on, uh, tomorrow and um, uh, then on probably on Friday or next Monday we'll have um, start to increase again. So if you look at copper, copper has absolutely no idea where it wants to go. It at the moment it is basically just hugging the 50 moving average. Um, there is no reason for this to be bullish. Um, but we are trading with the highs of um, of 3.2 and the lows of around 2.8. Uh, so at this point, if we break the 50 moving average, we'll fall towards the 2 and 2.8. If we rally up towards the 2.3, then this will be significant resistant and then we'll fall back towards the 50 moving average again. And I don't, this was, it was basically... Uh, pure speculation why we had that massive uh, run to 3.2. So um, my best guess, we won't go further than this previous highs of the 3.1. And that's where also where we find the resistance at the moment. So it, it's fairly pointless to buy this. If you want to buy it, it's very short. It's, uh, it's, it is the maximum of 3.1 or 3.2. And to the downside, we have... Uh, further to go, 2.8 and all the way down to 2.6. Technical indicators for this are very mixed. CCI is basically uh, very negative, the same, but uh, MACD and uh, Stochastic are fairly bullish, while the RSI is technically flat. Copper at this point hasn't. It's acting like it has no idea where it wants to go up or down. I am favoring the downside due to the fact that the world economy is slowing down and there will be less demand for copper. So if you look at gold, right here, there. So we had a decline in the US dollar uh, index. We have um, pressure the price here of, of gold all the way up towards the 50 moving average and still it is acting as a major resistant. We just, it just doesn't seem like that we are going to get past the 50 moving average at this point. We are looking for a major um, break to the downside towards 1850 or to 1800, which probably be the best um, position where you pay a price level where you can buy this for and hold it for a very long time. A break above the 50 moving average opens the door to the, this area here, which was a previous, it will be previous resistance. We just were here for more than a month, trying to get through this area, trying to get back to the to these highs of 2.1, 2. Uh, 2. but we didn't. And at the moment, we are struggling to get past the 50 moving average. So if we can't get to past the 50 moving average, we'll definitely not get past this at this point. And therefore, I'm just I'm favoring the downside. Um, if we have a rally in the U.S. dollar index, then then this will drop significantly lower. But um, but 1800 is entry point for a buy for the long run. So look at silver. Silver, same thing. We can't get to the 50 moving average here. We broke down, quite pulled back a little bit, and now we're just hanging around the same area where we basically started. Um, if we get past the 50 moving average, that opens the door to this area here, and this will be major, major resistance, similar to gold, and therefore I'm also favoring the downside. A pullback towards the $20 uh, range is is basically the best entry point you can get for this to all, to hold it. Um, I am bullish both on gold and silver due to the fact that in the coming year or years, uh, central banks and uh, governments will basically flood the market with cheap liquidity and, and stimulus, and that will be very uh, bullish for, for especially gold. Technical indicators for this are fairly mixed, and um, at this point, just stay away from this. There is no clear real trade, neither to the downside or the upside at this point. We need a break towards the low in order to enter for a high. So we look at Kakoa. Kakoa is doing exactly what we 
what I expected it to do, and that is basically trade sideways. We are not, uh, it doesn't look like we are going to rally up towards the 200 moving average. It looks like we're going to trade sideways and then we're going to break to the downside. And uh, if we break these levels here, this support level here, that opens the door to 2.0. And that will probably be a good entry for a buy because we're trading in between 2.0 and 2.7 and then we'll basically be at the bottom of the range. So if we pull all the way towards down uh, 2.0 and then rally from there, then that is probably a, a fantastic buy in order to keep it for the long run, because then we'll, first of all, go back towards the 200 moving average, the 50 moving average, if that breaks, then we'll go all the way to these highs. At this point, it's just, um, it's fairly, it's just gambling to, to enter a market here. You can break to the upside, you can break to the downside. There's no clear path of this at the moment. So in my view, just technically wait with this if, in order to get a better entry. So Platinum. Platinum is doing the same thing. We are trading in between the 50 moving average and the 200 moving average. We are technically are stuck in that range and uh, it is not doesn't seem like we are going to leave. Um, break below the 200 moving average opens the door to this range. And if that range breaks, then it opens the door to this range. And therefore, there is a lot of support underneath. And even though we get through this, that, of course, opens the door to these very lows. But I doubt that we get through that. I think that at some point, we are going to break to the highs. And then it will, open, of course, open the door to these highs of 978 and then to the 1,000. Um, this is also a market that is very tricky because it, it technically doesn't have a clear pattern where it's going to go. We just know there's a lot of resistance underneath. We know there's a lot of no support underneath, and we know that it's a lot of resistance above, and therefore we're just hanging around in the same area. Technical indicators are also all over the place, down, up, sideways, so on. So we need a clear signal in order to enter this market. Entering now is just pure gambling. So you look at um, sugar. So sugar has pulled back quite a bit, and then we rallied again. I think this is clear a sign that we are going to go lower. So the question is how low will go. So these lows, this will first of all be our first um, major support. If that breaks, then that opens the door to the 50 moving average, and that will be your buying opportunity. Break below the 50 moving average, that opens the door to 200. And uh, yes. That is, this is basically just a, uh, uh, buying on pullbacks because we are overextended at this point. Uh, we need a pullback towards the 50 moving average. Whether or not we ever get there, it's, I technically don't know. We will most likely get to this level at the 0 0.1397, and that is also a fairly good entry in order to buy this. So no interest in basically shorting. This is just buying as cheap as technically possible. So wheat wheat has pulled back we rallied and then we basically pulled back again and then we rallied so at this point we know that this area here will be a major support if we get down there and that breaks and then opens the door to the 50 moving average if that breaks that opens the door to the 200 moving average uh, this is not behaving like it's going to break the 50 moving average so Buying this close to the 50 moving average is probably um, uh, the best idea to do. We have a significant trend line here, which uh, is which uh, also will act as major support. So if we can get close to this trend line, then that will be um, the best entry that you technically can get. Technical indicators for this are fairly mixed. CCI is negative, the RSI is flat, the stochastic is positive, and the MACD is basically negative. So, yes, this is, you could enter here, that is possible, that is a, a little bit risky, but a pullback towards this line here is the best entry to this market. So, hope you find this video helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by subscribing, hit the bell button and the like button in order to see our newest videos. Good luck and thank you very much.